What's going on guys and welcome back to The Rift. My name is Terrence. As the UFC 4 launch approaches closer, there are a few things I begin to realize that I really want to see in my MMA title. Some of which I've already spoken about, like an engaging story mode or a far less linear career mode, both of which seem to have been revealed with the latest career mode story trailer, as well as various Game Changers videos released over the past week. But there are also a few features that I have not spoken about that I'd love to see in future MMA titles. And that's what we'll be discussing in today's video. Today's topic, how to make UFC 4 the best MMA sim. Let me start by explaining what I define as a sports game sim. An easy example would be think NCAA 14's Dynasty mode or 2K or Madden's franchise modes. Sure, they aren't perfect, but they allow me to do something that no MMA game has done before. They allow me to create an athlete or draft a team and watch my team or athlete evolve, regress, etc without ever actually having to pick up the controller and compete against a computer opponent in other words they let me simulate my career for some people this may seem boring or like a waste of resources but for myself someone who mainly plays solo these days it's nice to have a really cool yet fun offline experience that still allows me to get that engaging gameplay experience so I guess the question is, how does one go about implementing features that would make UFC 4 the best MMA sim? Well, I'm happy you asked because I took the time out of my day to throw together a few feature drafts to show you how this mode could be implemented. Let's get into them. Let's start with head coach mode. In head coach mode, players will be tasked with creating their own head coach from scratch. They'd then be provided with a little bit of startup money so they could build their first gym or buy their first property uh, to build as a gym as well as hire some initial coaches. But you have to be careful because in hiring coaches, chemistry matters. Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn's success is partially due to their incredible knowledge and chemistry with themselves and their fighters. If you choose a poor striking coach who doesn't like your methods, you run the risk of being more like a team alpha male in their Dillashaw dispute than Jackson Wink and their many years of continued success. See, the choice is in your hands, right? Because you'll initially start with a small amount of money, it's on you to decide right off the bat if you want a nice facility, but more budget coaches, or if you want really experienced coaches, but eh, you know, maybe a <laughs> hole in the wall gym. Both your facility and your coaches will have a huge impact on the fighters that come to your gym or that you're able to recruit to your gym. So this is another area where you do want to tread carefully. As the player, you'll be able to choose one skilled personality type for your coach. Things like aggressive to mirror Sarah Longo's approach, technical mirroring Jackson Wink or Faraz, or relentless pressure mirroring Javier Mendez. Once your fighters begin to win their fights, you'll earn more profits and skill points allowing you to upgrade your coaches, equipment, and gym, thus giving more incentive and opportunity to other fighters to come train at your gym. And of course, as your gym and profits grow, you'll want to hire more trainers as well as, of course, upgrade your gym. A fighter that feels like they're on a neglected property or being neglected with their time is probably going to end up leaving your gym. As I stated earlier, hiring and upgrading your coaches is essential because you might get lucky and recruit a superstar prospect with incredible stand-up. But if you don't have a good or sufficient wrestling and jiu-jitsu coach, you'll end up watching your prospect eventually make it up to the ladder to a point where they face off against a decent grappler that takes them out, which in turn will hurt both your gym's stats and ratings. So hire the right coaches, it's essential. In terms of in-game coach gameplay, I picture like ringside or cage side gameplay where you're given a prompt full of commands that you can shout to your fighters. Your coaching staff that you choose to have with you, depending on the ratings and the upgrade that you've given to them, it'll increase each of those attributes for your fighter. But also important at this point is of course, how neglected or appreciated your fighter feels. A fighter that feels neglected in the gym, like he hasn't had much hands-on or personal time during his camp, 
is going to be a lot less likely to respond to your commands whereas a fighter that feels like they've gotten plenty of your time and is satisfied is going to listen to almost all your commands this has a direct impact on the direction of the fight which means if your fighter is neglected their ability to do well in a fight is going to be far lesser which it, of course again will hurt both your gym stats and your ability to recruit other fighters and because this is a sim of course you wouldn't have to do that cage side activity if you didn't want to instead how it would work is you would basically create a game plan for your fighters where you say okay we've looked at the tape on this fighter they're a striker or maybe they lead heavy on their lead leg so maybe we're going to focus on kicks or we're going to focus on grappling and you just make sure all your coaching attributes are perfectly assigned for the fight and then you'd be able to sim it without ever having to do the cage side activity for the most part the goal of head coach mode is extremely simple right start a gym recruit really good coaches and fighters and help them become the greatest of all time so that you can be the greatest mma head coach of all time but that is not where this video ends there's one more mode i want to speak about it happens to be maybe the mode that i'd prefer to have the most that mode is dana white mode let's go dana white mode would see the player taking control of the ufc's president while simultaneously trying to operate a multi-billion dollar fight promotion from negotiating contracts to putting together fight cards dana white mode would go one step further than any mode we've seen in an mma game up until this point rather than feeling the fight the player would now feel the fight business to keep the business going you'll have to stay within your company's budget recruit new prospects build fight cards or hire a matchmaker capable of simming it for you and all of this is far easier said than done see when negotiating with a fighter you may think they deserve a huge payday but doing so will cost your company more money than they are making from the event now you run the risk of your business going under so be sure to budget accordingly wow that's an incredible fight with a ton of hype. It'd be a shame if the MMA gods decided to destroy your main event 14 days before the fight. That's right. On top of building excellent cards, you'll also need to keep those cards together. Overbook a division and you'll end up replacing multiple fights on multiple cards. Additionally, the fight hype mechanic will be crucial in planning events. For example, while Derek Lewis versus Olenek is a fun fight, not many people are going to be paying $60 to $70 to watch on pay-per-view. So if you schedule it as a paid event, fight hype will be far lower and as a result, your profits will be far lower as well if you receive anything at all. While I'm sure there are plenty of features you could add to both Dana White mode and head coach mode, I really just wanted to make this video to show that there is a sim element that could be perfectly executed the same way I felt that story mode or career mode could also be perfectly implemented. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment about what you would have liked to have seen in this mode. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more gameplay. When UFC 4 comes out, I will be doing career mode as well as we'll be doing some custom tournaments. So look forward to those videos. I hope to see you guys in your beautiful faces very, very soon. Until then, peace.